How you going everyone? Corey Baker here once again. It's only about been about four or five days since my last video. That's almost unheard of from me. Anyway, we're back uh, with another video today because one of those special items I was telling you about on my last video. If you haven't watched that video, links in the below section. <laughs> Uh, yeah, one of those special things came in the mail today, which I'm going to extend my collection with and it's in a big box So what I'll do is I'll show you the box and we'll get into a, we're going to review it and open the box today But here we go. It's quite heavy <coughs> All right, you can see over here It says Chronicle Collectibles and We have over here. It says what it is. It's a Pachycephalosaurus maquette so Pretty exciting, pretty big item today. So, if you don't know much about Chronicle Collectibles, they do a lot of uh, Jurassic Park collectible items. Uh, and what really has always caught my attention is the maquette range they do. Because you always you already know that I've got the, the Brachiosaurus, the Velociraptor, and the T Rex maquettes from uh, the first movie, which are the Horizon models. But uh, I also really like the Lost World, and I want to, and I, and basically, I just want to have a, a maquette collection. So, guys, very exciting to have this on the channel today. I'm going to, uh, so I've got my classic Corey Baker opening knife here, which I'll use to open this, and more, even more importantly, I have a beer. So, let's get started. This is very exciting, guys. Get this open. Uh, so, what we'll do is a. Uh... So, almost as exciting as the uh, as the maquette itself is the box. So, Chronicle Collectibles puts quite a lot of effort into how good their box looks for their items, and. We can see the top of it here. And what I'll do is lift it out, out of the box if we can. Okay, so here we have the box. Very beautiful box as you see here. So, as I said before, this is from Chronicle Collectibles and this is the Pachycephosaurus maquette. So really, really striking, beautiful colored box. So we got the, uh, this is what we're getting in the box here. Very out of focus for some reason on the box, but then they've got a really cool kind of setting in the background there. Now, this is to note, this is only uh, 150 units this one, so only 150 of them were made. And I have 138, but that's what it says on the box, if you didn't see it before. And I couldn't actually actually I couldn't find any of these on Chronicle Collectibles or a couple other sites. So they're all they were quite so there's only 150 of them. So um, I actually got mine from Sideshow Collectibles. Anyway, really cool little picture of a couple uh, three Pachycephalosaurus uh, going all through the Isla Sauna, Isla Sauna bush there. And going around now, this is what I really like to see. So they've actually done it, they've basically done an inverted kind of thing. They've got InGen down here as well. Uh, inverted Pachycephalosaurus picture. Basically, it's very reminiscent of what they did when the movie came out. Uh, the, all the promotional tip material and then, uh, the promotional style, or art style for their promotional material. They, a lot of the dinosaurs are all in inverted colors like that. So, kind of really good throwback to all that sort of stuff. We look across around the corner here as well. So here we have a little write-up. Uh, so what it says is something has survived underneath the big Lost World Jurassic Park logo. So something has survived. Pachycephalosaurus is an exciting addition to the Chronicle Collectibles maquette series. And this is the series. This is the series I'm going to try and uh, get as much of it as I can. Uh, this piece. Uh, this piece is molded from. And the original studio maquette produced by Stan Winston Studios, and this is pretty much why I'm getting these these ones because they're literally the, they are molded from the maquettes, and I've already got three maquettes, as you know, just to go get more maquettes for the collection. 
and painted like the dinosaurs depicted in the Lost World Jurassic Park. This statue is set on an oval base with detailed terrain. Each one is meticulously detailed and individually numbered, so should be pretty good. Uh, we're gonna have a look just on the, what's on the back on the bottom of the box. Oh yeah, nothing really there. Just made in China. And as you see on the top, Chronicle Collectibles. On, on top we just basically got a forest. Yeah, so let's get this out and get into the really exciting stuff. Yoki! There goes the box and now we have the main event. I get this open now, causing to be a little bit difficult. Okay, here we go. So this is the oval base. Here is the oval base. You can see here, it's got some inside. It's got a crumbly thing inside. That's a bit annoying. Oh well, it won't be moving into it too much anyway. So here we have the Lost World Jurassic Park logo there. And as you can see there, it's very detailed. We've got two footprints for where the Pachycephalosaurus will stand. It's got a really nice little log uh, underneath the sand there. And yeah, looking really nice, really, Awesome, I can't wait to have it put him on here. And if we look across on the bottom, here we have a little bit more information about the whole thing. So we got the logo for the movie again. Pack yourself a Saurus maquette, limited edition, 138 out of 150, so he's not a very common one. He's, he's not, they didn't make too many. I know they did make, they made quite a few of the Stegosaurus and the Compi, uh, but not very much of the Pack yourself Saurus. Anyway, Looking very cool. So we'll put him down there. And we'll be getting ready for the grand reveal of the Pachycephalosaurus. Alright, here we go. And if we lift this up, it should reveal the Pachycephalosaurus. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, here he is. Okie dokie. And here he comes, the Pachycephalosaurus. He's got two little posts to go into his stand. Here he goes. Okay, so here is the Pachycephalosaurus standing on its base. Looking very nice. So, this is classic Lost World colors. The green, kind of a greenish, bluish kind of thing going on here on the, on the back with the uh, kind of like a creamy, creamy tone underneath. Anyway, it's the classic, it's the cl classic color of Pachycephalosaurus in the Jurassic Park movies. And I am pretty happy with this guy. He looks really big, really good. And he, uh, he's quite big as well. So he's about 26 inches uh, from head to tail this way. And then he's about 16 and a half inches tall. But he's quite, uh, quite large. I have, me I have measured him for my uh, display camera, so he will fit in here. I can't wait to put him in there, but he'll look really nice. Anyway, let's have a closer look. Love the uh, Pachycephalosaurus little hands. Five-fingered hands he's got going on there. Really nice Pachycephalosaurus head. <laughs> Looks like he's looking at you this way. That dome as well looks looks really cool. The dome head, but yeah, it's like the every little inch has nice little details to look at. You can see the ribs sticking out there. See that all the way down to the tail. Feet looking really cool. Oh, the, the base is a must. The base is really awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing what the uh, Compsognathus base and the Stegosaurus base looks like. Because I, I am guaranteed, I'm guaranteed I'll, I'll get those two, those two as well. 
Um, I'm not too sure about getting the Parasaurol, uh, Parasaurol office yet, just because I think the Parasaurol office is even bigger than this one. I, I honestly don't think I can even fit it in here. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll turn him around. Yeah, here he is, he's looking at the camera now. This is even a really cool look, way to look at him here. Really nice little eyes on him. He's got a uh, put it in the grey eyes and a nice red colour. Ah, I love those little nose horns as well. His little beak. As you can see, it's definitely a direct mould from a Stan Winston maquette. Because you can see when one's looking at it, it looks very familiar to the other two I've got. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, uh, three. I've got the Brachiosaurus, the uh, Velociraptor, and the T-Rex. Looking at this side as well. Turn around even more. Here we go. So, he's actually he was a little bit cheaper than the others too, and I, I and it's really crazy to me, you know, he's just he's he's just so big. I I thought he was going to probably be probably another maybe a quarter smaller than what he is, but he's huge. Yeah, he's going to look really cool in the cabinet when it's all finished. And a really cool addition to my little uh, uh, Jurassic Park maquette collection I'm, I'm working on. So there we go guys. There's nothing much to say except just making, just saying it just looks, this just looks awesome to have a little bit of like Jurassic Park history in your house with a Pachycephalosaurus standing in a mutual pose like this. I, I do like the, the way maquettes are standing. It's just a, such a mutual pose. And uh, it's just so classy. That just that just right there on the camera now just looks so just uh, so awesome, and and it's just like a you know it's just like a Jurassic Park dinosaur for you. Exactly how he appealed and filmed. Yeah. Okay, now, so this is probably not going to be his final home, his final destination, but I want to put him just in the bottom of this uh, cabinet of mine here, see how he fits in. I'll move him with the base. But here he goes. His new home on the base. Oh, yeah. It's his tail on the back there. Alright, there you go. Looking pretty cool in there. Obviously, I think I might move him later, but for now, he's right next to the Brachiosaurus and he's looking really cool. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. A closer look at my new uh, Pachycephalosaurus maquette from Chronicle Collectibles. We've got more exciting stuff on the way. Um, what I should be showing you next is very exciting as well, and that's also going to go in the cabinet as well. Eventually I want to get glass doors on this and uh, once it's all finished I'll get you guys, I'll let you guys see in a really cool video. For now, we'll say good see you to Pachycephalosaurus and I'll let you guys go as well. So thanks for watching, if you uh, um, subscribe and make sure you comment and say hello, I always like reading the comments and I'll see you guys again real soon. See you later guys.